tornado flew around my road before you came. Excuse the mess it made. It usually doesn't rain in Southern California, much like Arizona. My eyes don't shed tears, but body for when I'm thinking about you. Hey guys welcome back to my channel it's victory marie and in today's video i'm gonna be doing a collective slash weekend vlog i'm not really sure what this video is called but it's gonna be somewhat of a weekend slash like collective vlog for all the days that i've been filming even though y'all literally i've been filming so much footage but it's like i've been feeling very drained very just like out of the loop and i don't really know what to do with the footage because I don't know where else to put it so i've been filming my days but i haven't really been wanting to put them together into like a vlog or anything like that but today i'm just gonna go ahead and run some errands um i have a few things to do i'm gonna show you all my to-do list because honestly like a lot of stuff that i have to do i'm gonna try to make this vlog a lot more just like real raw uncut um and just like y'all literally following my life i did take a break last week um because y'all I just have been so out of the loop. I've just been feeling like in a slump for real. So we're going to get my life together in this vlog. So today I have to go ahead and get my prints for my vision board. I really, really want to make a vision board, y'all. I've been wanting to do this for so long. So basically the steps to that, I have to make a Pinterest board and then I have to print it out at CVS, which I still have not even made the Pinterest board. That's how like out of the loop I've been. I just don't even want to do anything. But I'm going to really push myself today and just make my vision board, have all the photos that I want in it, and just have it like be perfect for me in my life i also have to go to the post office because i have to get a p.o box and we're also going to be going grocery shopping today so i've literally noticed that i've been going grocery shopping a lot in my videos but it's always like i feel like we need something at the house so yeah we're gonna go grocery shopping hopefully i can pick up some like essentials for this recipe that i want to make it's literally like three things that i have to get and i also need to go ahead and clear out my sd card from this camera because y'all for some reason like i've been deleting a lot of clips but it's still saying like i only have one hour on this sd card which i should actually have four hours so i think it's because i have like a lot of stuff recorded like i've been saying and i just have not been able to put it anywhere and it's just like stuff from my archives like i really don't know what to do with it and at the same time it's like those days i actually did stuff but i was just so unmotivated that i didn't really film a whole lot some days i filmed a lot some days i didn't so there's been a lot of things to just sort out that's why i'm trying to go ahead and start this vlog just fresh and clean so that it's not all over the place and then whatever clips i can put in i'm gonna do that so yeah as y'all can see i actually straightened my hair today i just feel like this wig was meant to be straight you know what i'm saying i think it's very very adorable very cute and also to point out the elephant in the room my first day get ready with me will be out the next time i upload okay i just needed to take my time on that video i didn't want to edit the video when i was like down in a slump because i didn't want it to turn out badly oh and also we're gonna go get acai bowls because i have been craving an acai bowl y'all i literally feel like i haven't had it in so long and the last time i got it which was literally the first time it was so good and i really want to get the same thing but i'm gonna get something new because i obviously want to try their menu but at the same time y'all i don't want to get something that i don't like guys so i just want to quickly pop into this video and tell y'all about the sponsor of this portion of today's video which is scentbird so if y'all did not know about scentbird they are a fragrance subscription service so if y'all watch me regularly y'all know i have been trying to build up my scent game and just get into like having more scents in my collection the best thing about scentbird is that you could literally sign up and get up to three travel size scents of whatever designer or niche scent you choose from their catalog and it's literally only for 17 dollars a month y'all this is great for somebody like me because i really 
really am not like a perfume fanatic. I'm not really a scent fanatic. But I really do not know the best scents out there. So Scentbird could literally send me a few designer scents that I'm interested in. And I don't have to waste my money on the full size bottle of the designer brand. Which I might not even really like. They also have a great selection of brands by the way. They have Prada, Dolce, Gucci. Whatever you want. Or if you want like a niche type of scent. They also have a great amount of that in their catalog. I also wanted to note the fact that even though we're going back to school y'all. The summer weather is still here. So for me, I love having a good summer outfit and I want a good summer scent to match with that. I've actually tried a few designer scents from Scentbird already and now I'm trying to get into more niche scents. And y'all, I just discovered these three scents and I've been so obsessed. I've been taking them everywhere in my purse. Y'all can use my code VICTORY for 55% off your first month at Scentbird. And without further ado, let's get into the scents. So the first scent I'm going to be showing y'all is called Joe by Joe's Love. The notes to this scent are grapefruit, lime, and guaiac wood. This scent is definitely giving citrus vibes to me and it also has that musk to it kind of it's more of like a masculine type of scent but i would definitely still use this y'all this is great for summer like i've been saying like this is literally such a summer scent and it's also very very sweet in my opinion and this scent is also vegan and cruelty free y'all the thing i love about scentbird's packaging which by the way y'all look how cute their packaging is they literally sent me the perfect colorway you can have a lock mode with all of these scents meaning that you can twist it to the right and it won't spray it won't do anything within your bag for customization you can also take off the case of each perfume so the great thing about this is that if you want you know maybe your scent to match your outfit or if you just want a particular color with a scent you can mix and match them however you want the next scent we have is called moscow mule and the notes to this are lime essence ginger essence and ambrox scent i could definitely say this scent is very very sweet it has a little bit of citrus in there but would definitely say this is another very sweet scent and then the very last scent we have is called house of beau lamar the notes for this are arabian jasmine pink pepper gardenia mexicana coconut and almond milk and the smell of this y'all is definitely giving like flowery type of thing it's giving very herbal in my opinion not the type of scent that i would usually go for but it is very very strong and more of a musky type of scent so again make sure you use my coupon code victory for 55 percent off it's literally only like over seven dollars a month y'all for your first month this is available in us and canada and yeah thank you so much to Semper for sponsoring today's video now let's get back into the rest of today's video okay guys so i hope y'all can hear me because the ac is on i forgot to tell y'all that we're gonna go to the driving school so that i can finally get enrolled into driving school just got out of the post office and basically we're gonna do the PO box online because it's cheaper online but once I figure out like everything all the information I'm gonna tell y'all my PO box so if y'all want to send me anything then y'all can send it to me this is honestly more about like sponsorships and brands because it is a bit like kind of not safe to be giving out my um address to all these brands especially now that I'm working with bigger brands or just brands that are like you know might not be as established we really don't know everything about them so i'm gonna go ahead and give y'all that if y'all want to just send me something also i did get my prints they're in this like little thing i think they're so cute i only got like 30 because really i don't need that many i honestly feel like i should have gotten less to be honest because my board is not going to be this big but anyways i think i'm going to go get acai now or we might go to the grocery store first i'm not really sure but y'all i really need to clear out this camera like for some reason that's why i bought my sd card reader because i need to clear out this camera's footage and put it on my phone the only thing is that i hate like having footage where i'm not editing it yet i like having only like footage from one video on my phone because i feel like everything else it'll just like clog up my storage and everything like that so but yeah i'm gonna have to clear this footage out Okay guys, so we literally just made it to the driving school. 
Well, okay, this is the second location and they are closed. The first location was also closed, but that one was like closing down. This one is also unreliable because they're just closed. They don't even have no hours. They do have a third location. We're not gonna go there, but yeah, very unreliable for a driving company. Also y'all, we hit 60K today. My mom is gonna get another cake for 60K. It's gonna be the same girl that did the last cake. I'm actually kind of excited. I feel like we get a cake every single time hey y'all so i am back home now and i have my pictures here which i got from cbs so i got 30 pictures i think my board is a pretty standard size in my opinion it just looks like this and i'm gonna be filling it up with a whole bunch of these pictures so i went with like a black white type of theme they're all kind of like black slash grayish kind of i've been getting into my like moody tones to be honest i've been loving darks and just like not even neutrals for real but like darks i've been wearing a lot of gray and white or like that type of stuff it's like neutral dark i guess so yeah i'm gonna be putting that on my mood board i also got a few things from pr so i got these from i do care i don't really know like if that's the full brand name but these are just kind of skincare stuff they sent me the moisturizer the acne gel treatment it's called fix my zit right here and they actually don't need me to like promote any of this stuff they just literally sent it to me for pr so yeah um i already have like a decent skincare routine so i might give this to my mom if she's interested but yeah y'all this is like the cleanser and everything very very cute i feel like um but i am not really a foaming cleanser type of girl anymore i'm very much of a cream cleanser if y'all have not gotten into cream cleansers y'all should definitely get into it because it is literally so good y'all i highly recommend but this one actually i'm kind of excited for it's like a zit remover i don't really know but this is what it looks like y'all and i'm gonna open it because i'm actually very wow what the heck y'all look at that focus what the heck that looks so interesting i've honestly never seen a product like this before and it literally comes out like that y'all that's kind of cool i might use this y'all um because i have been having a few flare-ups on my skin y'all can't really see it but i promise they're there okay and i've been kind of just wanting to get rid of like a few um pimples or whatever so i might use this actually now i'm gonna go ahead and just basically put together my mood board or my vision board whatever um, i'm actually loving all the photos that i got i feel like all of them just give the best vibes and just like the best moody type of vibes i don't know if that makes sense but i love like when all the photos just kind of correlate with each other so yeah without further ado let's go ahead and put together my vision board <laughs> Welcome back. So it is a new day and today y'all we're gonna be making 
something different. I'm gonna be cooking in my kitchen. If y'all can tell, I'm in a really good mood because I have that blonde wig finally off of my head. Honestly, I feel like blonde was not my color whatsoever. Like, I just, I miss black. I miss just, you know, just having black hair. Like, oh my goodness. So yeah, I did this install very, very quickly. It's gonna be like in one of my upcoming videos as a sponsorship, but I don't even know which one, but yeah. Also, by the way, y'all, I got my 60K cake today and it looks so cute it was literally giving barbie and i just saw the barbie movie so i was like okay this is literally giving the girl that made it her name is scarlett and she was able to make it super cute she knew that i loved barbie and like the barbie theme so that's what she went for and i just loved it i actually got it earlier and it was so good like it was so good i wasn't really able to talk to y'all about it because of the fact that my camera was literally like out of battery but it was so good it was like a really good cake so the recipe i'm gonna be doing though we're gonna be making this oreo ball basically all you have to do is like get some oreos and put them in the blender and then you put cream cheese with it and then it's supposed to like harden up into a ball and then afterwards you dip it into some white chocolate so i got some oreos from the grocery store the other day just to test this out because i really want to make something simple but like really good you know what i mean so i thought this was great i also love white chocolate anyway so i feel like this is gonna be amazing for me and y'all i literally also just got done filming like a sponsored portion and tell me why I was stuttering so bad. I honestly dread making sponsored portions of my posts sometimes because of the fact that I stutter so much behind the scenes. And the thing about me, if I'm stuttering on a word, I'm going to just keep saying it until I get it right. And it sounds so weird looking back at it because it's literally just me saying the same thing over and over again. And I think one time I left it in the video. Like I said something wrong and I said it again just because that's just routine for me. And I see a few comments of being like, whoa, that was so weird. But y'all, that's literally how I am. Every single time I do like a video or a sponsored portion, that's how I talk every single time. And the reason why I left that in, y'all, is because I was editing during school. I hate editing during school because I just like get so distracted. And then I think something is done, like a section of a video is done and it's literally not done. Like I hate it. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and start cooking. I'm probably going to watch something on my iPad. I honestly have no idea what to watch because why have I not really been getting into Netflix shows? I feel like there's so many things to watch on Netflix, but for some reason, I have nothing to watch. Like I have no interest in anything that I'm watching on Netflix. So I think I'm going to maybe watch... Hulu? Maybe. I feel like Hulu is low-key underrated, y'all. Like, they got a lot of stuff on there. Anyways, I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna go cook or bake, basically. welcome back so it is a new day and right now i'm gonna be getting ready i'm gonna like put on makeup because i have to do this like sponsored portion and i want to look cute for it and i saw some questions on my spam so i'm just gonna be answering maybe random questions whenever i feel like i don't have anything to talk about i guess um but y'all i literally made brussels sprouts today and y'all might think that's really really weird but y'all Brussels sprouts are good. Like, they're so good. I made them in the air fryer and I, like, followed this tutorial on YouTube. And it's so good. I highly recommend. If you just don't know how to make Brussels sprouts or something and you have an air fryer, make them. They're so good. If you make them correctly. Because sometimes people don't be making it correctly and they don't be tasting good whatsoever. Yeah, Brussels sprouts are not that bad. Just give them a chance. Just please give them a chance. Because I know some of y'all are not vegetable girlies. Somebody asked, do you edit all your videos? 
yes i edit all of my videos i edit all of my intro except for one intro which was my clothing haul intro that one was made by ie graphics on instagram yeah it was a really cute intro i really really liked that one but yeah all my other videos all my other intros i edited them the intro for this video that is literally this is actually my favorite because it's so cute like oh my goodness honestly i feel like straight looks so good on me y'all my favorite would definitely have to be like middle part and curled i love that oh my god it's so cute also i need a new foundation i need to get a new one because the one i got is not even my shade like i literally i don't know what to do because usually i always always get a good foundation match even if i don't be putting it on at the store but this one that i got is just not good at all i actually have two foundations but both of them just are not giving so i have this one from maybelline and i have this one from fit me but the way this fit me one is so bad on my skin like it does not even look like my skin tone it's so light and then this one every time i put it on it's so like disgusting on my face like for some reason my makeup never looks good it just literally like has the worst finish i might like put this with something else so that it's not as light do you plan on going to college yes i plan on going to college so i mixed the foundation with something else and i think it looks better it's a bit more of a match but earlier y'all like it looks so bad i think i might just use it as a concealer like that shade in particular i don't really want to go full glam to be honest because i'm literally just going to be staying at the house and i just want to do a sponsorship real quick camera details my camera is a sony zv1 and i love it so much it's a great camera do you have a storefront of any kind i used to have a depop y'all but i don't have one anymore but I do have like a personal Depop. I just don't like put anything on there. But I might start selling like my clothes and my wigs again. Because that is something that I used to do. But I don't really do that anymore. What's your favorite video ever? Honestly, I don't even know. Um, Probably like one of my V Diaries videos. I've loved having that V Diaries series, y'all. I might go back to making more V Diaries. If y'all don't know V Diaries, y'all need to catch up for it. But it's basically like a video series that I started on my channel and it was more geared towards like me showing y'all my real life or just like everyday things that I did basically, the behind the scenes of me making videos. Honestly, I feel like it's really not that different from my regular vlogs in the future if i do make more v diaries videos i definitely want to make it more like just raw and not as much cuts i feel like i literally say that in every single video i'm like i'm gonna make this video raw and then it's a whole bunch of montages but i feel like i'm very much in tune with my montage vloggy type of style and i can really never let go of that so that's how i always love making my videos maybe one day i can make like a 30 minute 40 minute video for y'all i'm really just a vlogger girl at heart like for real is an editing course coming soon maybe <laughs> i want to make an editing course for y'all i really do but i do not know where to start whatsoever i feel like nobody on youtube has an editing course so i don't know where to start but i might start doing like one-on-one -on -one classes of me like teaching y'all because i feel like it would be so much easier teaching just one person at a time so that I can actually figure out like what they need. I'm just the type of person that I want to make it so perfect. Like if it's not going to be perfect, I'm going to wait it out until it is. And right now I feel like I just don't have all the resources to be teaching y'all how to edit and I never want to give y'all bad advice. What were your thoughts on the Barbie movie? Honestly, I'm going to show y'all clips for me like after this segment, but in my opinion, the concept was good. But the way they presented it to the big screens was just not as good as I thought it would be. On one of my stories, I was like, the concept was an 8 out of 10. The execution was definitely like a 6 out of 10. It was just not what I expected it to be. But obviously, it's a Barbie movie. Like, it's geared towards kids. It's not supposed to be as serious. But the message was there, in my opinion. It's always a hit or miss for me with this lip liner thing. Like, I stopped using lip liner, y'all. Like, brown lip liner. And now that I don't use it, for some reason, I can never have, like, a good lip combo day. Like, it always looks so weird to me. I honestly think this look is done. How do you become the best version of yourself? I would definitely say to accept yourself for who you are and understand that mistakes happen. Like, nobody is perfect and you should never hold yourself to such a high standard where you're, like, hating on yourself. And understand that you can always improve as a person. Like, nobody is ever going to be, like, at their highest self. All we can do is strive to become better every single day. Um, so yeah. Okay, y'all, so I think this is basically the look. I really hope y'all enjoyed this little Get Ready With Me segment. 
And now I'm just gonna show y'all like some clips from me watching the Barbie movie. Okay, so we have reached the end of the video. Thank y'all so much for watching. I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. Again, make sure you check out SendBird and make sure to use my code VICTORY for 55% off your first month. All the links will be down in the description box below. All the scents that I had tried as well as SendBird's website, all that stuff will be down in the description box below. Definitely go ahead and check that out. And yeah, I will see y'all in my next video.